Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel that likes to try anything so you don't have to. What we're going to have a look at today is a Kia Picanto. Um, this Kia we picked up from a dealership in Durham, which is the Kia of Durham. Um, the reason why we've got it is because of our car is in, so I thought I'd do a, our, our own cars in, so I thought I'd just do a quick review of it and, so, and see what I, give you my thoughts and my impressions of the car. Um, first of all, this is the Kia Picanto 1. Uh, which is the Eco Dynamics one. Um, it's the basic trim level, which is a one litre Kia Picanto. Um, I've got to say, I mean, this is the 2019 plate one, and I've got to say, I really do like the look of it from the outside. I mean, Kia really stepped up their game in terms of um, the quality of the design, the features, how it looks. Um, I mean, I like the previous version to this, um, but obviously this is the much more uplift, um, facelifted version of it <clears throat> so as you can see here it's got all the new kind of lighting cluster here at the front um, it's got the daylight running lights here and the new grill <clears throat> sorry you'll have to get my coffee here um, but it, it does give like a small car such a nice aggressive or kind of faster looking view to it and I'm really impressed with the way Kia does their stuff but on the reverse it looks it looks really nice as well nice kind of flat look to it um, which is uh, which is easy great for parking um, I mean this is the Kia Rear 1 which means it's the El Basico version so there's nothing much to it but uh, on you, what you get on some of the more higher trim levels you get them as LED and when you see them in the flesh they look really good which really brings this car up in terms of look for what you get for your money really I mean this I think it starts at about £10,000 and while to me that's quite a lot of money um, I do think for if you could get this like second hand or a bit cheaper I've got to say great looking car right I've gone to ultra wide just so to give you a better understanding of what you how the inside looks so if it looks bigger than what it is uh, it probably isn't but I'll just go back to normal view so you can see there's quite some space in the back enough for probably two full-size adults um, and obviously a space for two uh, child seats and I believe I just no you, uh, you get your isofix points there and there which are indicated here uh, you got two seat belts here and here and in the back if I just uh, show you I'm five foot six so this gives you a kind of a, a good level idea of how far the front seat is and now obviously this is a in my configuration at the front so if you were like a six foot driver obviously be a bit back and if you're a six foot passenger sitting behind a six foot driver you might find this a bit of a squeeze but you know in terms of how i find it i find it really good um as you can see on the doors here you've got your it's kind of a basic trim which is plastic keep fit windows or better known as uh, wind up windows uh there's no kind of sort of you'll have to forgive me for being out of breath <laughs> i'm really sorry i've only walked around the car but God, uh, it shows the lockdowns had an effect on me. But as you can see here, just very, very smooth key fit windows and they go all the way as well, which is brilliant. Because some kids do like to kind of have a look out the window and I know a lot of cars only go to about there, but that, it goes all the way. I'll just pull them back up. And there's your re rear lock in here as well. But yeah nice bit of room here and if i do above my head if that's uh, kind of got me on my head i mean as you can see i've got kind of a nice nice amount of headroom as well because i mean obviously it's kind of a more of a boxier design here so yeah i'm really impressed with the back space um now obviously it would probably get you know you do have your your own kind of basic ventilation here so there's no air con there's no vents at the back but you do get one cup holder here which is great uh, good for storage, but talking of storage, you don't get much in terms of door cards or sorry, door storage at all, really. And it is all obviously scratchy plastics at the back. Um, so that's it, that's it. So, not really much to store your stuff or for kids to put like tablets or what have you. And even on the back of the uh, the Kia Eco Dynamics one, you don't get anything in terms of kind of rear seat. Um, pockets really so it's a bit of a shame that but obviously the cost cutting try and keep the uh, price down but in terms of uh, the seats at the back yeah they're, they're nice and yeah they're nice and firm and um they do kind of give you a bit of a 
your back yeah they're, they're quite supportive as well and then you've got your headrest here which go up and down um and that's it really that's as as much as you get um there's nothing much really else to talk about in the back i mean you've you got your usual space here and that's it <laughs> it's it is it is basic trim here kind of tesco no frills motoring but what i'll do is just just from the back i'll i'll show you just kind of this is as i say this is ultra wide and that kind of gives you a, a, a view of what you can see from the back end it's not bad you know you're not obscured by a big um seat or anything so you do get kind of it's it's quite it's not claustrophobic or anything like that in any way shape or form so yeah i do like this car and i've got to say out of the small ones that i've driven like the micro which which is fine and uh some of the other ones like that suzuki swift i've got to say i do like the picanto i'm quite i'm quite surprised by it right then again ultra wide still um so i just thought i'd show you what's going on in the front as you can see here we've got the front electric windows here which uh obviously that's the driver and that's the passenger which works as thus um it looks to me like the windows are very very slightly tinted um just no they're not i'm sorry i'm wrong there but um you got your your central lock in here which works as such and as you can see there you see that moving there um talking of here the handles basic trim it goes without saying um obviously on the more i'm guessing on the more higher trim level cars which for example we've got a kia Rio, which is a um it's a three because they do come in one two or three and we get it's all chrome and it's nice and metal and stuff like that but it is basic in here and i got to admit um if you're after the kind of the no frills motoring then this might be the the, the level for you i mean this thing doesn't even come with the uh, air conditioning which i've got to say in this now in, in this day and age is a must really especially with the value of the car i mean if it doesn't come with the uh, air conditioning it does kind of less than the value of the car i'm kind of um hazarding i guess here but um you know you have got old school ventilation there which is your windows um but other than that you know it is the the basic of the basic trim i mean so i believe on some of the more higher range models you do get kind of a, a touch screen here uh i mean you'd have to check online about that but you know i'll talk about that in a minute but as you can see it's all basic all the way around there's nothing fancy there's only just a little bit of a kind of a metal effect plastic trim here which it does add to the the look of the the vehicle i've got to say it's, it's not going to kind of make it look super expensive but it's a nice little touch and i've got to say the layout of the dash i'm really impressed with it it's simple everything is in its place sorry i moved my leg here and obviously my camera um it, everything's in its place you've got your kind of uh ventilation controls there you've got your radio here um again you know i can't see it being any harder than what it is i don't think it's got bluetooth but i i haven't had it long enough to to really say to be honest i mean i can turn it on and turn the music down uh, traffic announcements no I, d I don't think it has got bluetooth but you know that's that's more the, the the car really i mean at the end of the day if you want more fancy stuff you've got to pay more money and this vehicle starts at about i think around the ten thousand pound mark for a brand new one so you know you probably can get some offers and stuff like that at the minute and especially with it was coming out of lockdown which is the reason why i've started doing these videos again um you probably get a good deal really but you know in terms of the the overall layout and you know you, you, you get things like your auxiliary here you've got your 12 12 volt uh connection there like a, what used to be a cigarette lighter connection there but obviously for things like um tire pressure uh, tire inflators and stuff like that you've got usb as well there so you, you know you're quite well catered for there and you know if you like your music and stuff it's brilliant the other thing i did notice as well which was quite a neat little touch was um i'll oh, just move my other camera out of the way which you've got this kind of area here to put your drinks and stuff and if you've got smaller drinks these flip around as well which i found a really nice little touch and considering it is kind of what would be a kind of a, a low price car at a low uh, kind of entry point as well like uh, the model in the range you, you know it's, it's nice to see a little bit of innovation there and again you know it's five gear you do have your auto start stop now here, here we have the instrument binnacle here it is as simple as you can get it and I, I think the layout is brilliant you've got your fuel gauge on the right temperature on the left uh, driver information in the center um, and you've got your rev counter there and your speedometer there and you know it's simple it's not convoluted it's not got all these little design features that you've got to kind of look around the steering wheel to see 
around it and stuff like that or move the steering wheel so just to see it's just simple it's big the fonts are nice and large and it's easy to read the other thing is well being at the l base co model obviously you don't get your kind of uh, telephone connection here which we do on our kia rio Th uh, level three as it were where you got your, your as it were your trip and stuff like that which is normally down here and you got all telephone uh, sorry your volume control here telephone and stuff like that and the steering wheel you just get trip and reset and obviously if i go through the trip um counter here uh you've got i mean that you've got miles per gallon which is what it's probably currently doing i mean obviously i'm not moving at the minute because i'm using my phone to uh record this uh you've got your um I'm guessing the, the average miles per hour, which is 24. Uh, you've got your um, trip time, which I'll probably just reset because there's no point. So I just kept the finger on the old reset button and that's what happened there. Uh, again, the odometer A, odometer B, um, miles to MT, which is 91. And I mean, I picked this up when it was 111 and I've done about, I would say I've done about 20 miles since that. And, you know, in the Suzuki Swift that I had, it, it, it wasn't that accurate. Um, it went down quite quick. Whereas this, this has been, it's been very, very accurate or even probably a little bit more accurate than some of the other cars I've had. And I've, I've, been, I've been suitably impressed. Um, the other thing as well is it's average miles per gallon and it's getting, I'll zoom, zoom in a little just to help you because I know some people are interested in that. It is getting 44 miles to the gallon and I think that's brilliant on average. I mean, obviously, it, might, it may go up if you do less. Uh, it may go up if you do more motorway miles, or it may go down if you do more city driving. But you know, the manufacturers tend to say it's about 50 miles to the gallon, and you know, you take that with a pinch of salt, really. But that I've got to say, I, I can't fault that. That is as close as you can get. And if I just zoom in a little there, um, that gives you a better view of what's going on. And I think you know, it's really good. And obviously, you can reset that and then see what kind of uh, miles per gallon you are getting and again back to where we were so i'll just pop that on the uh, range so i know where i'm at um as i said there's the radio there there's your ventilation stuff like that which just easily moves up and round and stuff like that quite nicely designed as well i do like the look of it um your seating arrangements here i'll go back to all dried your seating arrangements here i'll move the camera as well um yeah it's comfortable uh, I really do like that. It's, there's no lumbar support or anything like that, but you know, you, it's nice. It's it's very. You got your bolsters here. These aren't too high as well because in the Golf that I reviewed, um, these bolsters were high, and I, I did have a bad back, not from the seat, but um, I did pull my back or whatever, and the, it was a nightmare to get in and out of. So nice, I've got to say, and the the quality of the seating as well. It's nice and thick padding, and you know, to see to sit at, brilliant. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, as I say, it's a basic car, or it's the basic spec. And if if it just had aircon, I would I would say that's all you need, really. Um, I mean, if you want a bit more, you know, like uh, technology and stuff, then you know you've got to pay a bit more, and then you'll get what you're after, really, as with anything in life. But you know, you got your obviously your instrument controls here, indicators, lights, and stuff like that. I mean, it does have daytime running lights here, which is obviously at the front, which is a, a, a requirement of a lot of brand new cars here. But they are kind of bulb driven; they're not LED or anything like that. So you know, El Basico really. And now, what I'll just quickly do, I'll just quickly show you a, a view from the back, just to give you an idea of what's out the back as well. Um, you know, you got your seating arrangement there, and what kind of view you get from the rear view window and it is good i mean i didn't talk about visibility either Vis visibility is fine there's nothing you know you do have your <coughs> your points here your blind spots but they're, they're minimal and i gotta say for getting yourself around the town or around down the motorway you can see everything the one thing i did have an issue with and that's probably because i'm used to a bit more spec in my car is these are manual and my god the last time i used manual controls was about 10 years ago and it's just mad to see him on this kind of 20 well, 2019 car but other than that you know I, I i think it's a great little car and would i would i buy one based on this so far probably probably the high, slightly higher spec and maybe a slightly power, more powerful um engine because this is a one liter and while it's enough for what we do here i can't imagine if you have four adults in this car what it would be like right so as you can see here i've got the key and I'm gonna just you can just keep finger on it to hold to open just that so it just unlocks the actual back and uh, 
as you can see here here's your boot boot wise enough for a couple of bags of shopping i mean we've got a boot protector here which is quite interesting so i don't know if that comes standard uh you got your parcel shelf here which can disconnect via that and also if i just to uh, do that down and just show you how easy that is to you oh, you got tether points as well on the seats and if i just quickly show you that that was easily done and you got quite a bit of space just to move stuff around and i'll just kind of lessen that just so you can see it better so there's you know he's, he's got kind of nice bit of carrying space here and the one thing i didn't show you is how far the doors open and they do open nearly 90 degrees to the actual car which might be ideal if you're looking to put babies and stuff in the car so if you're looking for something that's economical and you know easy to live with then i've got to say this is ticking all the boxes for me if i was to look for a, like a car if i was a young uh, young lad as it were or a person just looking for something cheap and practical to run um yeah great well thank you for watching the video about the walk around and the internal review of the Kia Picanto. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see the actual road test video we have highlighted a box here um, or you can click on the link in the description below. Um, if you like to be made aware of any future updates to our channel of reviews of cars or products or anything like that then please click on subscribe and if you like the video then please click like. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye.